All right, so this is the PDP controller. Uh, it's for Xbox or a PC. Uh, I use the black one with my PC all the time. It does have to be plugged in, uh, but I don't mind that because I'm using it directly at my PC, which is you know less than a foot away from me. This red one I have has the programmable back buttons. So we're going to use the control hub here to program the back buttons. Uh, I have both. I'm recording the screen and this at the same time, so I'll try to cut over there. So you want to go to pdp.com slash pdp.app. I guess that works on Xbox as well, but uh, I want to get it for Windows here. Oh yeah, click on the little link here. It might just take you to the store though, yeah. So basically it takes you to the Microsoft Store. Uh, I'm going to get that and install. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wire this up. Alright, so let's launch it. We'll take a look. That's a cool, that's what my other controller looks like. Alright, so let me plug in the controller itself. It does have a specific cord. Uh, I assume it's interchangeable, but it does show things. So there you go. See, it's setting up the device. And it recognizes this the red one, which is pretty neat. I'm gonna wait for it to recognize it fully. All right, now the device is ready. So let's get started. An update is available. So let's uh, let me hit A to select it. And I will begin. And of course, if you're updating something, don't unplug it or turn it off. That's a pretty silly idea. Yeah, I wonder if it turns red because that's the red controller. Uh, yeah, so let's look at a tutorial here. I've never used this app. Navigation bar. Diagnostic section. I don't know why you need diagnostic so you control. I guess you can see if uh, things are drifting or whatnot. Although PDP control has been I have any problems with some of the power A ones I have had troubles with. PDP has been pretty solid for me. I wasn't really paying attention there. So I was kind of clicking so, through it. So here we can see our buttons. Uh, diagnostics, here's the configuration, uh, and uh, FAQ, uh, this you can, I guess you can change controls if you have more than one plugged in, and this one just makes it full screen. Alright, so let's go to the settings, and we're going to remap the buttons, remap any button to another button on the controller, uh, and let's hit begin. That's not what we want. We want the back buttons. I don't know how to remap those. Back of control. There we go. Back of controller. That's what we want. Select a circle and press A. Select any program on the controller to map it to the programmable button. So let me hit the circle. Hit A. And then what button? What do you want that to be? Select any. So this is the right That's hand the right. side. Make yep. it the right on the D-pad. So we're going to make it right on the D-pad here. And it mapped it right away. So, and then, let's go back to this guy, and you want this to be what? Left on the D-pad. So, let me hit, nope. Alright, so you do have to click on it, and then hit A, and it turns yellow, and then we'll hit left on the D-pad. And now, that should be correct. So these are standard Xbox controls, and we're just going to test them out in the game of Fortnite just to make sure it works. And I don't see anything yet to do to save, so I'm just going to click off of it. Yeah, on analog sticks. Uh, you can test Let's go to the full range of motion. That's just diagnostics, right? So, and then audio, you can test the audio. It does have an audio port here. Uh, we're not using that. I'm using audio through the PC itself. Sometimes I do use it here, but right now I have a, a different thing set up. Uh, you can test vibration. Go back to the settings. Anything else? You can change audio. Oh, yeah, looks like changing. You can adjust the dead zones on the sticks up to 50%. Is that something you want to change? All right, so that is something we would normally change, but it's going to be a pain in the ass to do that on video. But you can do it here. Audio. Uh, you can adjust the audio balance. Uh, how low, how loudly you hear yourself. I do like that because sometimes I don't like hearing myself, even though my voice is pretty sweet. Triggers. You can adjust the min and max dead zones for the triggers. That's pretty legit. You like that, right? Yeah. All right, so let's change that. So let's begin. All right, yeah, so you do this to go back and forth to get to min or max, and then we want the max to be one, so yeah. it's just instant. Yeah. Five is must go, but we'll do five. And then, so that means, yeah, a light tap will then suddenly get you there. And I guess you just hit A to set it, and then we can test it, and I'm just going to barely touch it, and it comes right on. I can not even close to... Alright, so that's good for shooters. Uh, if you're playing a racing game, it will probably mess you up. Uh, but you can always reset it, of course. That's the cool part about this thing. Uh, vibration. Uh, the boy doesn't really care for vibration. I think it's cool. So you can adjust that. 
revamp buttons we already did. Analog sticks, just so you can adjust the dead zones to see how it looks. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I don't see any way to check for an update. I mean, just update it so it should be good. But, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty full-featured app uh, for a controller that doesn't really cost much more. Than, or it's cheaper than the official one. And, you know, I've been pretty happy with it. So, uh, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and we'll run a quick game of Fortnite just to test it to make sure it works. All right, so we have a game of Fortnite up. And let's just make sure it recognizes things. And it seems to be working. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're going to try Fortnite out with the PDP controller. This is the Galaxy skin we got from the original Note 9. So we'll make sure this setting's turned off. We ruined like four videos because the boy that's turned on. So you make sure the mouse is turned off uh, if you're going to use the controller method on PC, of course. Uh, we're on my Windows computer. Uh, it's a Windows 10. Uh, it's a Dell XPS A900 with an i7-6500, uh, I believe. Uh, the 1060 GTX card. Uh, I probably got 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, ignore the gameplay. The boy's not very good at the game. He spends his whole life playing it. Still terrible at it. I'm recording my audio through the Shure MB51. And just recording the screen with TechSmith Camtasia. <laughs> All right, uh, any qualms with the controller? No, no. Everything seems to be hitting fine, even the trigger. You notice the difference with the trigger with the whatever we changed in there? It's not slow. It's, it's, I didn't play with it before to notice if it's any faster, but it's definitely not slow. Yeah, it feels good. All right, uh, do you notice any difference between the controller? Between that and a regular Xbox controller. Um. Yeah, the what's it called? The bumpers, they're way like stiffer, and clickier kind of. And then the the triggers, they don't go, they don't go down as far. We have a ball of charisma this one. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's see. We got a lucky kill there. Another lucky kill. Another guy did all the heavy lifting there. But uh, the controller is responsive. Uh, you know, the controller can't make you a better player, certainly. Alright, so he put the Doom outfit on uh, just because he's scared of the robots. <laughs> so. This game is way boring compared to Rogue Company. So the controller can't make you a better shot, of course, either. So that's going to be problematic if you're just not good at the game. Is that real music? This is one of the emo It's not a real song. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just got killed in your dream. <laughs> that's funny. So just for reference, here is the PDP itself, and here is the MOGA. Uh, this is my Power A. This is ideally meant for mobile. I think it will also work on PC and it has the buttons in the back. But this one's a lot more expensive than the PDP. Here is a proper Xbox controller. I really like the looks of this one. I use this one whenever I play on my laptop uh, if I'm traveling. Uh, but the PDP itself is pretty great. Like I said, it looks almost identical, right? There's a little bit of difference here. I have a video where I go into a deeper dive on them a little more detail on just the pdp the the black one that i have this one here this one does not have the back buttons uh, and the red one does you can get different colors of course now as i said pdp did send this to me i specifically asked for it because i wanted a wired controller for my pc and i've been pretty happy with it and now that uh so i use the i don't use mac buttons when i play my son is a big baby about it and has to have these back buttons so now that we have this one set up, we can make better Fortnite videos because we'll use my PC instead of having to use the Switch or the PS4 or something like that. So I'm looking forward to using this as part of our, you know, standard rotation of controllers. Uh, you know, all these are pretty nice. I mean, most major name controllers are going to be pretty solid. I do really like the looks of this Xbox one. I paid for this one with my own money because I thought it looked so cool. This one I got just to test it out. I had to pay for this myself as well. Uh, I've only used it to make the video, but I've never used it again. Uh, 
The red PDP one is one of the back buttons that's for my son, but I use this one all the time. Anytime I play on my PC, I use this controller and I like it a lot. So I highly recommend the PD product, PDP products for both the Switch or the Xbox. I've had no problems. Uh, their customer service is great. They're very responsive to me. So uh, I highly recommend checking them out. And of course, that PDP app was pretty fresh. Uh, so if you get one of the controllers, I recommend checking it out. Should be pretty good. All right. Thanks for checking this out.